Long last, the season for backyard gatherings is finally coming. But instead of the usual burgers and chicken, we're taking the party Cajun with a crawfish boil. Addie D. Jamal has your Crackin' and Boiling 101. If you want to turn up your outdoor party a notch, toss out the barbecue and get cracking with a crawfish boil. The tradition and the origins of crawfish boils started in the bayous and swamplands of Louisiana. They've become a staple of Creole and Cajun fare and have spread nationally and globally. Will Gardner, regional manager for Angry Crab Shack in Mesa, Arizona, shares some tips on how to throw an easy crawfish boil party. Let's start with the tools and equipment. What do you need? to actually get your crawfish boil going. Well, it's a very simple equipment list. We're gonna start with our pot, one pot cooking for boil. We have our colander to strain our food at the end. And then we have our heat source. This could be at home with a kitchen stove. This could be outside with a propane burner. Very versatile. And don't forget your tongs. So then our little pinchers don't get hurt. Next. Let's talk ingredients. First thing we want to start with is our seasoned pot. We have our own signature Cajun blend that we use, but really any Cajun seasoning from your local grocery store will work. Cajun seasoning is typically made up of salt, pepper, onion powder, paprika, coriander, and mustard seed. And then a little cayenne if you want to kick. What are the ingredients aside from the seasoning? Because obviously that's the heart of it. Star of the show or the main attraction is going to be the goodies that we put in the pot, which today are going to be potatoes, corn, sausage, and crawfish. Finally, the boil. How long does it take for the entire boil to cook? Uh, typically about 15 to 20 minutes. Once the water's boiling, pour in the seasoning. How long are we actually boiling the water with the seasoning before we start putting in our ingredients? Maybe two to three minutes just so that then the water gets nice and seasoned and then we can start to add in our ingredients. Toss in the potatoes and let them cook for about 10 minutes. And then let's start to add our corn. And let's go ahead and add our sausage and crawfish. All right, so everything's boiling, now what? Grab a cold drink and wait about five minutes. So is it ready? Crawfish are bright red, they're floating and they're ready to go. Okay, so what comes next? Next we're gonna wanna go ahead and strain all the water out and move it to the bowl. So everything's in the bowl, what happens next? Great Chef always tastes his creation and makes sure the food's cooked well. How do you go about eating the crawfish? Twist the tail remove it from the body, and then just kind of peel it. That is delicious. It is worth the work. Cracking the code to crawfish boils.